Well, happy to have with us members of the Alamogordo Tiger soccer team and their head coach, Drew Player. Coach, how you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. And if you want to introduce uh, this group that you brought along with you today, or if you guys want to introduce yourself, start here on the left and uh, and go ahead and just tell it. How about tell us your name and uh, position you're going to be playing this year. Hi, I'm Julian Torres, and I play left wing. I'm Austin Fisher, and I play right wing. Uh, I'm Adam Foltz, and I play striker position. Tristan Scamacci, I'm playing center back this year. Uh, Logan Reyes, and I'm a goalkeeper. Well, Coach, I mean, this is, uh, we've seen this younger group, you know, advance. You know, first year, obviously, there were some struggles. Second year, we saw marked improvement. And uh, this year, obviously, the, it feels like the, the expectations are going to be up there for this group. Is that how you're viewing it? Absolutely. I think this is the year that we make a huge statement uh, across the board in the state. Um, the main thing I saw that was a difference over the last three years was the commitment level in the preseason. You know, the guys I had high numbers all preseason, and the guys were working hard. So it's a different mindset, I can tell, from the guys, and they want to be successful this year. So that's the big difference. Julian, I mean, how does this year feel maybe different than, than previous years? Does this group have a, a different level of confidence? Is there, are, are you guys really feeling that going into the season? Actually, there's a lot of confidence. <laughs> Well, talk about. I mean, talk a little bit about you know j just the feeling around the team this year. I mean, does it does it seem any different than, than previous years in the way you guys are, uh, you know, attacking practices and you know tryouts this week? I mean, how does how does it feel maybe compared to previous seasons? Well, this year there's a lot of hard work and like I could tell like we want it this year. We want to go farther than we did last year. Austin, I mean, how how are you looking at uh, going into this year? Maybe personally and for the team. I mean, what's uh, what's some of the goals that you're looking at for this year? Well, as a senior, I think all four seniors on the, on the varsity squad are trying to leave their legacy and get the team back to state where we deserve to be this year. I don't think we have any doubt in our mind that we're going to make state this year. Adam, I mean, and that seems to be obviously something you guys are talking a lot about, that you want uh, this this to be a season that, that's special for, uh, for, the, for the seniors and for everybody involved, right? Yes, um, the dedication level is, is through the roof this year. Um, Preseason, we've had outstanding numbers, and... Um, you know, we're losing four seniors this year, and after losing them, you know, we're going to have to regroup and uh, really focus on next year. Tristan, I mean, there, there's you guys have always kind of been the the younger team with, you know, a lot of sophomores and freshmen and this year, you know, with four seniors and a lot of juniors in this team this year. Does that change mindset at all, to maybe compared to previous seasons, or does, does mm, it feel that much different for you? Not at all. Yeah. I think uh, we're going to play our heart out every game. Like you said, we've always had uh, – less numbers and seniors than mostly every other team so yeah we're gonna play well though logan i mean the the, the extra experience that this group has does that seem to, to stand out to, to you guys at least in practice and you know uh, tryouts and things like that uh you could tell how much we want it this year how much we want to make state and prove to everybody that we have what it takes coach are you seeing it from the guys i mean obviously you you, you can relay to them what you want to see them do but are, are you really seeing it from them in terms of you know how much that they're putting out there for you Absolutely. They have a different mindset. It's just kind of a buzz I can feel about them. They're really confident. They know what's at stake. There's a couple objectives that we want to achieve this year, which is winning district and getting into state. You know, it shows in the preparation phase, which is preseason. They really want to be successful this year. So, you know, credit to them for waking up early, you know, and going through the two days and really getting it after this preseason. So. What do you feel like you can relate to them? Obviously, I mean, you were part of some successful soccer teams here at Alamogordo High School, and you know, you've played here, and you know, you know of the the legacy of boys soccer here. I mean, there's been a lot of success at AHS, and to see that return back to a top level, you know, what what do you talk to them about that at all? Yeah, and you know, it's been ten years since we've been to state, so obviously that's something that we need to break that spell or that curse, I guess you would say. And the uh, last time we won district was 2000. I was, you know, I was really young. My brother was on the team actually, so. I remember that, you know, it was just awesome to see them do that. So it's something that I think this team is definitely capable of doing. So yeah, we're looking forward. It's going to be, and you guys know it's going to be a tough district, I'm sure, with Chaparral and Santa Teresa and Deming out there. I mean, for Tristan, sure. Yeah, Tristan. For I mean, sure. <laughs> um, I, again, is that something you guys talk about, knowing that you know the teams you're going to face in district later in the season, or are you focusing on other things right now? Uh, we're focusing on all of it. Uh, the district play is going to be crucial. There are teams in that district that we've competed with in the past, not did so well in the past, but this year we're going to compete very well, and uh, we have high chances of beating them. So. Austin, I mean, where do you feel like this team has some of its best strengths? Do you guys feel like you're a really good offensive team, defensive team, or do you feel like you guys have uh, strong parts on, on both sides of it? Definitely strong parts on both sides. Uh, our back line has been strong our, these this past year and definitely grown over the past this offseason especially. And with our 
with, hopefully Julian doesn't get hurt again this year because he he was stellar. Adam, I mean, what do you see maybe in the difference with uh, with this group? Obviously, you're you're, you're on, the, on the attacking side of it. Offensively, do you feel like this team is maybe stronger than we've seen in previous seasons? Uh, yes. Uh, you know, we're looking up to bring Cameron and uh, Junior up. Um, also, Julian is is returning, and you know, I think offense is going to be strong this year. Um, you know, we all have goals set in mind, so um, I think it's going to be great heard from all the guys in, in, in terms of you know the the strengths of this team I mean what, what has coach been really focused on you guys maybe need to to get get better at before the season starts in order for you guys to be successful uh, well there's not really like he just wants us to get better all around better with communication with passing shooting anything that just yeah all around how big is I mean how big is communication amongst you guys obviously coach can 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 yell at you guys from the sideline, but it's most important for you guys to be really really talkative and, and active out there on the field, uh, right? Yes, communication is a big part for the players on the field. What what's some of the things that he wants you to make sure you're doing out there that that to make it work the way that that it should? Well, for me, he wants me to be controlling the back line, and uh, him, Tristan too, since he's one of the biggest uh, crucial defenders in our lineup. He uh, we need to talk to people and let them know what to do. Yeah, Tristan, I mean. Obviously, communication that back line, you know, keeping making sure that somebody doesn't get behind you. You keep teams maybe offside. So hopefully, that's probably a big part of it for you, right? Oh, it's a huge part. I mean, especially because in my position, I can see the field. I can see pretty much every player on the field. I can see the other team. You know, I can talk to everybody and tell them where to go, tell them what to do. I mean, hopefully, everyone knows what to do. Um, that's why we try out. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a good point there. And I've noticed over the last couple of years, I mean, coaches really, you know, preach possession, make sure you guys are, you know, quick movement out there, moving the ball quickly. Hopefully I'm getting that right. Is that a fair thing That's to say, correct. Coach? Okay. And, and a lot of buildup, I'm probably sure, for the offense, Adam. I mean, is that a, that a big thing for you guys? It's not, you know, trying to go over the top. It's it's building up to, to get into the goal scoring area? That's correct. Uh, fast passing, moving communication, uh, one touch off the ball. Um, that's that's a big key point that, that, yeah. that he's – He's preached to us. Austin, I mean, in terms of, you know, keeping possession and, and having that quick passing, is that do you find that has been something really helpful for this team over the last couple of years and has, has gotten better going into this season? It's kept us in games for sure. And also with this year, especially going against a little bit weaker competition going down a district, it'll definitely help us boost our confidence going into strong games against Las Cruces teams and then into our district. Where do you feel? I mean, obviously, they talk about you maybe using you a little more offensively this year and, and up, up at the front line. Do you feel like your goal scoring is is getting to a point where you know you can be a big contributor up there up front this year? Yes, I do. I think this year I want to have a lot more goals. If, if we just pass the ball and talk to each other, we're gonna like have a better season. Coach, I mean, how how did tryouts go? I know you guys had uh, great numbers again this year. You have over the last few years. Uh, what, what did you feel like you took away from uh, the first couple of days of practice this week? Oh, the first couple of days, you know, we've been working on just being organized, getting our set pieces down, and making sure that our our pass is on point. So when it comes to game time, we got a scrimmage tomorrow. Matter of fact, which will be a nice little tune up before the season actually kicks off on Tuesday. But um, you know, I just I'd really like that the enthusiasm is there from the guys. There's excitement at practice, and uh, they're just really motivated and it's important that we take every game seriously because, you know, the off chance that we do not win district, you know, they're going to look at our overall record. And, you know, every game is important, who we beat, how we beat them. You know, if we lose to a team, how do we lose to them, those type of things. So it's important that we take every game, you know, one game at a time, win the games that we're supposed to win, and uh, just compete all around. So do you guys doing an intra squad, or are you guys bringing in somebody else too, or going somewhere to face? We will be scrimmaging a team from the Air Force Base. Okay, cool. All right, that's what. What do you, you want to take away, or what do you want the boys to take away from the scrimmage? Just something as a, as a little bit of a tune-up for you. Or? So yeah, we've kind of scrimmaged inner squad. So this will be like a outside competition, a team that we haven't seen since last year. So it, it'll be good to uh, play around with a couple formations and throw some guys in different positions, see how they respond. How big is it for you guys? I mean, Adam, to to see somebody else other than the guys that you uh, you compete against every day at practice will be nice to see a different team on the other side. Yes. Um. You know, it's always good to face a new co uh, opponent, but, um, you know, we just got to work on what, what we're trying to do this year. Yeah. Tristan, is it all about just trying to make sure the little tweaks before you head into the first game of the season? Is that what you oh, kind of feel like you're looking at? For sure. Yeah. For sure, yeah. We're just trying to, you know, get all the, the bad things out, you know, for this game because it, it doesn't really matter. Like, this game, it's just a scrimmage. 
but it does matter because we want to get better as a team, as a unit. So it does all matter. Yeah, Austin, how do you attack you know scrimmage like this? Sometimes he talks about it. You know, it's it's not a game that you know the score isn't going to matter at the end of the day. It's not going to be a win or a loss at the end of it. But you know, as a player, how do you attack a, a situation like that that maybe you feel like can help you as, as the season begins? Uh, it's just going to help uh, help me, especially respond to a different formation going against a different formation playing against different players just all around honing how we address different threats on the other team what what are you looking to take away you know just seeing a little, a little bit of action out there before you begin the season against mayfield on tuesday well when you practice with the same people over and over again you get like you get used to what they're going to do and you start predicting them but facing new people allows you to react differently. Maybe show some different things that you don't get necessarily do in practice. Is that what you're looking for for uh, for the weekend as well? Yes. Um, just for our team to, like, it's, it's, since it's only a scrimmage, so we can get our mistakes out, get ready for our game on Tuesday. I don't know, Coach, if you can talk about, you know, the progression of this group since you took over and how much you've seen them, you know, just advance in their games and advance maybe in their attitude and the way that they play. I mean, is it is it kind of night and day from, from when you first uh, – join the program absolutely you know obviously the age is a big difference you know I don't have any eighth graders on varsity this year I've got only three freshmen uh, we've got Brett Money up on varsity Lucas Birch who's a returner up on varsity and Ezra Cadwallader on varsity so you know we're pretty heavy sophomore and juniors um, but a lot of those sophomores and juniors have a lot of experience at the varsity level already so you know that's a huge difference as opposed to being an eighth grader ninth grader with no varsity experience so definitely the experience is there they know what the, this level is about, so <coughs> there's high expectations around the team to succeed this season. And is it just, I mean, not just in their game, but do you see, you know, physically that the, the guys are, you know, they can go up against some of the bigger teams that are out there? Because, I mean, I, a lot of people recognize of how physical a game, and especially, I mean, on both the boys' and the girls' side, it's, you know, you, you've got to be able to, to push your weight around sometimes out there, right? Absolutely. We're a lot bigger, faster, and stronger now than what we were two years ago. Um, as you can tell by the picture you took of us, you know, all these guys are my height or taller now, which wasn't the case last year or the year before. So they've definitely grown, you know, physically, and yeah. they've grown um, in terms of their quality. Julian, I mean, having to go up, I mean, I'm sure you've seen teams that are senior-laden and junior-laden over the years, and to go up against, you know, those bigger teams and now not have that size disadvantage, I mean, that's got to be something that will be nice going into the games this year, right? Yeah, it's a big advantage, really, on corner kicks. Our height, it's really a good advantage, and our since we've been hitting the weight room a lot, are we getting, we've been getting bigger. Adam, I mean, I know that you certainly use your speed a lot out there, but you know, you've also you're also one of the bigger guys out there in the field. So having you know a lot of different players in the field that you know can can exert themselves out there a little bit more, you know, do you feel like that's going to be an advantage for you guys? Yeah, uh, speed isn't always the key um, on the soccer field. Um, you know, you got to watch out for those smaller players. Um, you know, because you know they they always have something up their sleeve and. Uh, so you know, communication is is what's what's really a big part of soccer. Yeah, I mean Tristan, you out there on the back line, I'm sure the physicality back there sometimes. You know, I mean, you've really got to get into somebody sometimes if you want to play solid defense, right? Well, for sure. I mean, if I if I don't get the tackle, if or I don't stop the pass, you know, I'm the last line of defense. So definitely being physical and being very uh, strong on the ball and off the ball is very crucial for a center back position. Yes. Logan, I mean, what, what do you like to use in terms of being successful on, on the defensive side? Well, like they were talking about communication, communication is a big key. Um, it's, it's really the biggest part in soccer. Like, you could have any technique down, any part of soccer down, but if you can't communicate with your teammates and not know what to do, when to do it, then it all means nothing. Austin, I mean, the thing with you know being a midfielder is you're kind of asked to do a little bit of everything out there so you're playing defense you're, you're have to get back on offense and i know you know everybody has to do a little bit of everything out there when on the soccer pitch but you know maybe you, you in the midfield more than anything else that that's important for you to kind of be able to, to do you know make those plays right yeah we're we're right in the middle of it and whoever controls the middle of the pitch usually controls the game and we have to get out there at the very beginning control that pitch and just with our passing and our movement we're gonna just control the game well, and that's that's certainly the goal, right? Is you want to see your midfielders be uh, super active out there and then be able to control the game like that, right? Absolutely, Coach? we get some pretty talented midfielders and experienced midfielders. We got Antonio Silva coming back, Lucas Birch coming back, Cameron Davis is another one of our center midfielders. Tristan's also capable of playing in the center midfield position, and um, just having that 
quality in the midfield can really cause some damage to other teams in terms of our possession, how we're able to dictate the flow of the game and things like that. So that's definitely one of our strong points of the game, being able to hold possession and wear teams down and create chances. How do you feel like, I mean, we, we've touched on it a little bit, but you're, you know, attackers, we've talked to Adam, we've talked to some other guys here. Uh, you know, who else are you going to, who, who's going to need to be your goal scorers this year? I mean, is it going to come from all over the field or are there some guys you're lo looking at in particular? I hope so. It'd be nice to have, you know, uh, goal scoring come from multiple sources. Um, in the past, it's been one or two guys. And uh, this year, you know, we're looking for Adam to get over 25 goals. Um, Junior Barbosa is coming up from JV. He's scored, I believe, close to 15 goals his first two years each season so he'll be a sophomore we're looking to get him over 10 goals Julian Torres as well we'd like to see him get over 10 goals he was really coming into his element last year and then he suffered that unfortunate injury so you know this year I think is will be a much better year for him and um, you know we've got uh, Cameron Davis who can play in that striker position as well so hopefully he'll contribute some goals to you you know we, we talk about the build-up things like that do you feel like this team will be good on set pieces this year they talked about the height is that going to be something you guys will be solid at this season i think so and we put a lot of time into those set pieces and um um and it's important to be able to defend set pieces um my first year here i think we conceded a set piece every game which is not very good at all and last year we greatly improved in that and uh you know defending is also a mindset i think you have to uh it's more than just a skill, you know. When you when you're defending, it, you have to have the mindset of not wanting to get beat, you know, which a lot of attacking players usually don't have that. But um, <laughs> but um, you know, it's it comes down to having that mindset and being switched on at all times. So set pieces are important on the offensive end, and they're equally important on the defensive end. You know, we talked a little bit about the expectations for group. When you look at the schedule, you know, what are you know at least in the non-district. I don't know if you've had a chance to kind of look over the schedule. I'm sure you have, but you know, are, are there certain games you're really looking at that you want the, the team to, um, you know, that they can maybe make the biggest impression uh, going into this season? Absolutely, we have a relatively difficult start to the season. We'll face Mayfield away for our first match, which sources tell me that Mayfield is looking pretty strong this year. And then we play Los Lunas for our first home match, which they're returning their entire team from last year, so they'll be pretty solid. And then we go into the Las Cruces tournament, which we don't know who we'll face, but that's always a pretty uh, competitive tournament, which we were unfortunate not to win last year. So that's one. Of, that's our first objective is to win that Cruces tournament. Then we get to September, and really we should win out in September. It's a, really a, a month where we need to win in games and we need to win big. And then that sets us up nice going into district, which, you know, it's anybody's game. So um, we need to have a good pre-district showing, and then when it gets to district, it's crunch time, and then states the icing on the cake well I'll ask you guys i mean we talked about you know kind of <coughs> vaguely in terms of the improvement but you know i'll start over here on this and with you logan i mean where do you feel like your game is better at going into this season well i've improved all around over yeah. this past year just my kicks have gone better my diving my reaction time everything has gone better overall for me tristan i mean is there anything particular you find that you're you feel much more comfortable at going into this season honestly it's my assurance on the ball and off the ball i um I try to stay pretty cool. I don't try to freak out in the back because the center back position, you know, you get the ball and you look around, you might not have something open. So some center backs do things, you know, crazy, a little kick the ball or something. But I'm trying not to do that stuff. I'm trying to stay cool in the back. And Leon, where, where do you feel more confident going into the season for, for your, your game? I mean, is there one thing in particular that you, you, really, you felt like you really focused on and got better at? Just moving me off the ball and quick passing. Okay. We uh, gotta work on his penalty taking too. Yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's a that's a big thing. Obviously you wanna be able to take advantage when you get those PKs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, how about you? Where do you maybe feel uh, better at going into the uh, the new season? I believe like uh you know, improved over everything. Um a little bit of everything and uh coming in this season, you know, I have high expectations, um just for me and and for my team, but you know, communication off the ball and on the ball is is what I believe like I've got better at. When coach says he wants you to get 25 goals, you're 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 perfectly happy with that that lofty of a goal. Uh, yeah, I was shooting for 40, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's that. And coach, you probably like to hear that, don't you? Yeah, that'd be that'd be wonderful. <laughs> Austin, how about you, man? Where do you feel maybe best at going into the new season? Uh, I've just improved on my speed and strength this this off season. I'm just trying to become better off and on the ball just passing movement just trying to cement 
my spot on the starting squad just improving myself and hopefully improving the team too how's the chemistry with this group you feel like you guys uh, all get along seems like it here here in the studio yeah we've had multiple years together now and Julian, you, you feel like this is a group that that shows some great chemistry out there on the pitch? Yeah, I do. There's a lot of, like, just messing around, but the, we focus when the game comes. I mean, we just play our heart, hardest. Tristan, I mean, how how important is it to be able to trust the other guys out there on the pitch? How important is it? Yeah. It's it's the most important thing out there. I mean, if you don't trust the guys next to you, then it's not really a team. You know, the chemistry's not there. So, And we are definitely a team. Adam, I mean, obviously these you talk about the communication, but you know, is it on and off the field? You guys really seem to get along well. Uh, you know, we joke a lot um, on and off the field, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, when it comes crunch time, you know, we we all got each other's back and we're there for one another. Logan, I mean, how, how's you know the relationship you feel like among the entire team solid going into the season? Yeah, I've played with these guys for many years now, and we have a close bond together and. It brings us together as a team and stronger. Coach, I mean, is it something that you see with the guys that you feel like this is a team that's, that's close-knit? Absolutely. I think they're really interconnected this year, and, you know, they know what's at stake this year, and I think that makes them um, even closer. So they want to be successful. I want to be successful, and it makes us all one big family. All right. That's what we like to hear. How many seniors do we have here right now, Tristan? You're a senior, right? Four, well, two seniors here. Two seniors here, Tristan yep. and Austin. Yeah. You're the two seniors. Tristan, what's the plans for after uh, after high school? You started thinking about that yet? Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, uh, not as much I, as you may. I don't want to go in depth. Okay. But I'm hoping to go to college and UNM, stuff like that. You want to yeah. continue playing soccer? or I, mean, what's the um, I might, yeah. I probably will okay. in UNM, yeah. Austin, how about I would you? I would love to play soccer, but... I just had a lot of issues this year with injuries. I, I broke my collarbone right before off season started, so I barely got back in time to even play. So I'm just glad to be right here playing with these guys. And, I mean, if I have the opportunity to keep on playing soccer, I'm I'm taking it. All right. Adam, obviously I'm sure playing college soccer would be a, a big goal for you, right? Uh, yes, it would. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, getting academics done first is, is my main goal. Um, soccer second and then going from there. Julian, I mean, have you started thinking about after after high school yet? No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. All right, that's okay. Hey, you know what? <laughs> that's fine. But if you had the chance, you'd certainly love to play some college soccer. Yes, I would. All right, <laughs> Logan, how about you, man? Well, I still have a lot of time before yeah. that happens. I'm still barely going into a sophomore. Yeah. So, I would love to play college ball, but I still have time to think about what I want to do in detail. Yeah. And coach, I mean, just like all the all the other coaches that, that, that I've talked to, I mean, you got a lot of uh, teachers, and you know, focusing on academics is, is a big deal, and it's the most important deal, right? Absolutely. You know, if they don't have the grades, and they can't play, so you know, and if they want to play at the next level, they've got to have that good GPA. And uh, same thing there. If you don't have the good grades in college, and they'll send you marching. So, you know, and ultimately, that's what's going to get them through life is having that education and that that degree. So. You know, and they're all capable of that. I got a smart group of kids. I've never had problems with grades, so I have no doubt that uh, they'll be successful later on in life. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if there's anybody we haven't mentioned. Yet. We've talked obviously these five guys, and you mentioned a few other players. Uh, I don't know if there's any anybody else you want to make sure that we uh, we talk about that's going to have uh, going to have an impact for you guys this year because obviously you got a you got a big roster there. Yeah, we got 20 on the squad this year. Um, really, one of our strongest points is our back line. So we're returning uh, Diego Isabel from the in the, in the goalkeeping position. At the right back position, we got Trenton Tapley, who is a senior this year. Uh, center backs, we've got Tristan Scumachi. Uh, our left back, we have Keith Wilder. And our other center back position, we have uh, Johnny Lucero, who's also returning. So, you know, and all these players have been with me the last three years. So there's a lot of um, experience there and a lot of chemistry in that back line. And they're all rather quick. So that's um, huge as a defender. Um, you know, we, we started off talking about it. Um, you know, what is it going to take for this group to you know reach those goals? You feel like this year to, to be district champs to, to get into the state tournament. You know, I think winning is contagious, and uh, I think if we get a good start, you know, the, it's just going to snowball. And um, once we get a taste of victory, you know, and we know that we're on the verge of being very successful, I think it's just going to boost the confidence, and overall, it's going to get us back into that state tournament, which is the ultimate goal. All right, well, guys, appreciate your time today. Good luck against Mayfield. You guys ready to go against Trojans? Oh, for yes, sure. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, that's what we want to hear. Coach, as always, appreciate it, and, uh, and good luck this season. Thanks, Charles. Appreciate you having us. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Thanks.